tomorrow morning, and I know what a battle is to get you up there. Okay. Lavery! Adam! What's up? You lied to me oh, again. Oh, okay. No, I, just calm down. You're, you're not letting, uh, you're not shooting promotional videos for IncredibleDreams.com. You're letting a cut-rate production company shoot a TV pilot on my yacht. Adam, I can answer any you know of what, your I'll, questions. I'll handle this. Thank you, I mean, I just... We did lie to you, Adam. Yeah. Well, you busted, buddy. Everybody out of here. No, 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 hold on a second. We lied to you because you're a control freak and you sit on my creative process every time you're on this boat. I sit on your what? This is my yacht. Remember, I own your body and everything you put on it. This is, there's, uh, there's no room for creativity here. This is a business. You run a business, preferably not into the ground. Please, Adam, if we played by your rules, I wouldn't be able to get this company back in the black until it's as old as you are. Watch it. Just listen to me, please. Just listen to me. This is not a second-rate TV show, all right? Reality programming is the most sought-after product in Hollywood right now. We have three couples. Listen to me. We have three couples on board who are willing to risk the relationships for one night. And audiences all over this country are going to go nuts for it. And yes, I thought of it without you because I knew you would flip out, so I kept it from you with the intention of just showing you the final result. What result? When? Does the phrase syndication package mean anything to you, Adam? Do you have any idea how much money you can make from this? And how little you trust me? You invest no capital, zero. You take no risk. And meanwhile, you get more money than you know what to do with. So you tell me what the downside is in all of this, and I'll pack up my stuff, my friends, my new collaborators, and we'll go out and we'll find somebody else with a vision of the future who hasn't had his head stuck in the sand since the invention of the fax machine. It's up to you, Adam. Do you think you can make TV history? I think I can make a bundle out of it. Oh, is that so? Then do it. Thank you. What would you have done if I'd cut you off? Plan B. I tremble at the thought. Huh. You, you may not be using my capital to fund this little adventure, but this is my yacht, and I'm going to keep a very close eye on what you do with it. Am I clear? <clears throat> you and Liza could be one of the couples on the show. Uh, that way you can watch everything that's going on, Adam. And now there's an idea. That, that's <laughs> ridiculous. How cute are the guys in the other couples? <laughs> Excuse me? Ah, uh, very. Well, count us in. Well, well, well hello. <laughs> count us out. Oh, why? You're not up for any uh, competition? Well, I... I don't look forward to a uh, prepubescent sexual deviant ogling my wife. Now that's what we like to hear. <laughs> what is the matter? Are you bored? Must I fly you off to an island and have you entertained? No, I'm not bored, but I'm game. This is insane. Maybe. But it could be hot. For whom? For us. Couple number four reporting for duty. <laughs> Captain producer. Excellent. And we've got the consent forms right here. All right, let's get ready to roll. Um, we are going to start filming. We're going to start filming. Just everybody, just be yourself. Okay. Have fun. Okay. But she's going to wing the whole thing? Well, yeah. Haven't you ever watched TV when JR was at home? No. Is this what they do? Uh, My genius wife. Where are the other couples? Oh, they're just freshening up. I'll go get them. Don't, don't skip out on us. Oh, well, you know, Julian and I aren't in the show. The hell you're not. Adam, we're the host. We can't participate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. If, I'm in, if I'm playing this game, buddy, so are you, partner. Right. Sorry. You see, on Dreamboat, there's no way out until we dock and no telling what will happen while we're sailing. Our first couple, Tanya and Bob, are here from Delaware. Bob is a doctor by day, but he's been known to shed more than in his inhibitions at the local theater. Yes. He and Tanya, a health club owner, have been together for nine months. <laughs> Next, we have Lars, a consultant, and Phyllis, an entrepreneur. They like to pool hop through Bryn Mawr in the nude. 
And from Pine Valley, PA, we have Leo and Greenlee, newly engaged and between jobs. And Adam and Liza, two of the most prominent business people in town. And uh, Jillian and Ryan are hosts who are also entering this, uh, whatever this is. Our skipper and his first mate were married twice, once for convenience and once for love. Or did they? All in all, you're going to see some fireworks here on this floating love machine. I'm Eileen, your host. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss any of this. goes there? Greenlee? Leo? Oh, you're not Greenlee. Uh, yeah, you're not Leo. <laughs> and cut, cut. Okay, great. We got some great stuff in that sequence. Everybody can take their blindfolds off. Let's move on to the next game. Um, I'm going to tape it later for the audience, so we'll pick that up. Here, I'm going to pass out these cards. On these cards are the name of an area or a place on the yacht. Do not show them to anyone. Keep it to yourselves. Go to the place on the card and wait there. And someone who knows who will join you. Have fun and remember, anything can happen. Let's go. Oh. No, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna go to my place. Are you going to go to yours? No, 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 no. This is getting ridiculous. That woman I just danced with. She can't even spell. How could you possibly know that? Intuition. <sighs> Come on, the game's over. No, I'm, I'm going to go to my place. Where are you supposed to go? I'm not showing you. Why? Because it's a game. You said that, that, that this was supposed to sort of, you know, turn us on. I think I did. Not working. <laughs> well, give it some time, and I'm going to go to my place, and you go to yours, and don't follow me. I'll be very unhappy. <clears throat> oh, you're not playing fair. I, I just wanted to see which of these creeps they were You have to on. leave, otherwise he won't come out. You can be very intimidating. I, I swear. I'm, Go and play nice with others. I'm not going to leave you here alone. Liza? Is it just us? Well, it's not a threesome. Have fun, Adam. <laughs> Let's get to know each other. Why don't you go with the flow? You know, I didn't want to come here either, but who could I possibly meet tonight who would fill my needs? I followed my bliss, and here I am with just about the most powerful and handsomest man in America. <laughs> you followed your what? My 
bliss. It means I'm ready to leap into the unknown. It means I'm willing to open myself up to you. Totally. But don't do that quite yet. <laughs> You're shy. That's cute. Don't you think it's fascinating how people develop particular talents from their jobs? I own a health spa. Would you like to know what my particular talent is? Oh, oh yeah, okay. I can tell what people look like without their clothes on. You're gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> You remarkably fit yourself. My thigh muscles are rock solid. Feel. Oh. Yes, rock solid. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I have another one. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Feel any difference? They're both perfection. <laughs> <laughs> That's a ringing endorsement. Even with your x-ray vision, you can't tell the real one from the prosthesis. Prosthesis? Yes. I certainly got my money's worth. I told the guys at the at the uh, lab that I didn't want to be able to tell any difference between the one that's attached and the one I hang on a peg at night when I make love. Oh. Mm -hmm. Here, you want to feel it again? Um, oh, yes. Um, I... Some call. I... Urgent. Um, I'll be back. Is it that obvious? <laughs> yes, I've uh, done a little acting in uh, college. Still alone. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the critics said I seethed with passionate intensity. I bet you have your clippings, too. Oh. No, I, uh, I was just a kid then. I, <laughs> I've wised up a lot. Well, that's too bad. Because I think that you would be a movie star by now. Don't need it. I've found something much better to give my life real meaning. Really, Bob? What's that? dermatology and uh, one wall of my office is papered with photographs of my patients at their senior prom and uh, they've all written on them thanks dr. Bob <laughs> I'm sending these kids off to the first great evening of their lives with their complexions just a little clearer so <laughs> I figure I'm doing something pretty good with my life that's that's great. Wow. It's a good life. My uh, house is paid for. I go scuba diving every summer off Catalina. The thing is, what good is all this happiness without the right person to share it? And what about Tanya? She's a girl. I'm not interested in girls. I, I'm ready to meet a woman. Oh, well. <laughs> kind, generous, smart. That's why the moment I saw you. Oh, Bob. Uh, oh, that's that's so sweet. Um, I'm I'm spoken for. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. It was foolish of me to expect so much. <laughs> no, no, it, it's not. I waited for that special someone. And I got him. You know, someone to fight for and fight with and laugh with. And someone to tell your stories to when you come home at the end of the day. And they pretend to be interested even when they're not. <laughs> <laughs> someone... Who, no matter how infuriating they are, will always be the most loving person in the world. Someone who, when you look at them, as they're sleeping on their pillow, you realize in your heart that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh, Bob, have you, you could talk to Tanya about her remarkable thighs. She'd like that. Really? Oh, really? Like slabs of granite. <laughs> you realize it was in, in this exact spot on this yacht that you agreed to marry me? Oh, yes, I was drugged with libidazone at the time. Oh, well, you're not drugged now, so tell me again you'll marry me. You know, I will. When you uh, move up close to the railing and you say, I'm the king of the world! Why in the devil should I do that? Oh, the, the movie, the, the romantic movie with the, the iceberg. I don't think I saw that. We, we saw it together. Lucretia made the special dinner of the Chateaubriand. We, we fed each other. Oh, yes, I remember now. Your neck smelled of rose water, and you had that big puffy blue sweater of mine, the one that makes you so fun to hug. I love you. So, tell me you'll marry me. Well, you know what you have to do. <laughs> we don't need a movie. With my arms around you. <laughs> I am the king of the world! How was that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>